Hinge theorem says that if two sides in one triangle are congruent to two sides in another, so let's identify those two, I'll say AB is congruent to DE, that's one side congruent to another, and I'll say that AC is congruent to DF. So those are my two sides in one triangle congruent to two sides in another triangle. So what Hinge theorem says, the triangle with the larger included angle, so if we were to include an angle in here somewhere, we would say that that angle will then result in a larger third side. So my included angle would be A or D. Let's say A is 40 degrees and D, let's say that that's 65 degrees. So we know that the side that matches up with that one, so A matches up, so angle A matches up with side BC, angle D matches up with side EF, and we know that the larger included angle, 65 is larger than 40, results in the larger third side. So our third side is EF, and our third side for this triangle is BC. So from this information, we know that the larger included angle is in this triangle. So our larger side is EF. So EF is greater than BC. And we know this because of our two congruent sides. So AB is congruent to DE. And then we also had AC was congruent to DF. And the biggest piece of information that tells us that EF is larger than BC, the side length is greater, the, the segment is larger, because the measure of angle D is greater than the measure of angle A. So if I were to have another picture, for example, let's do a quick drawing of two um, triangles. Remember, don't always trust the scale. I were to say, well, let's call this one um, A, B, C, and this again D, E, F. I'll say that B, C is congruent to E, F, and then A, B is congruent to D, E. And my included angle would be, let's say, I'll call this one 24 degrees, and let's say this one is 22 degrees. So these are pretty close in size. We want to identify the larger third side. So which side, AC or DF, is larger? We can figure that out by looking at that included angle. The larger included angle is that 24. So I would know that AC is greater than DF because the 24, the side across from that larger angle, is larger than the side across from this angle. And again, we know this because of our congruent sides. So AB is congruent to DE, and BC we said was congruent to EF. But the most important piece is that the measure of angle B is greater than the measure of angle E.